Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey fam, glad you came over today. And you see who we're going to be talking about just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Just to have some conversation going. This is Stefan Diggs. He comes from Meager, uh, Meager Means. Um, and he got drafted. Well, let's go back. Okay. He's a wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills. Okay. He was born November 29th, 1993. He lives in or was born in Virginia, Alexander, uh, U.S., uh, He's six feet, weighs 191 pounds. His high school he attended was Our Lady of Good Counsel, and he went to Maryland University. Now, this brother's out here. Look at him. Now, he looks manly man, you know what I'm saying? A real man out there doing real man stuff. But this child, he's wearing a skirt. Now, what does that tell us about skirt wearing men? They want some money. They want to be famous. They want to live the high life. High life, okay, on this earth. So he's sacrificing his manhood, allegedly, to make himself look stupid, make himself look dumb. dumb. But actually, it's a, a, a ritual, blah, realistic ritual going on here. Y'all know about the Illuminati. Y'all know about the elites. Y'all know about the... Uh, wealthy families that control the world in a sense. Well, honey, he just got indoctrinated into that lifestyle because he ain't no Irish-born person. He ain't in Europe. They were um, the bag, what do you call them, bag pipers. They would be blowing a little horn and stuff, dressed up in a kilt. That's what they call skirts over the kilt. And <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? This brother ain't, you know, he ain't old enough to be like, I'm just going to do this because I need my extra money. My social security is not doing well for me. It's not providing me the lifestyle that I once had and I need it back. So the elite told me I can get, get it back if I play their game, allegedly. So he has come out there with a skirt. You remember Kevin Hart came out with a skirt or a dress looking out quite ugly. Because he's not an ugly man, but he was quite ugly. Being a female. Uh, who else? You got Usher. Usher doing the same thing. He's going to come up here dressed all up in Louis Vuitton from head to toe. However, he's wearing a skirt. Now, again, he's not Scotland. He's not from that area, that country. But yet, he's wearing a skirt. There you go. Mm-hmm. And they call it the Super Bowl humiliation ritual. Mm-hmm. He got indoctrinated as well. And you know, uh, Usher looked kind of unhappy. He looked kind of unhappy that he had to do these things. But again, if he want to stay on top, they knock at his door. They tell him what they need. He either do it or not. If he don't do it, he can start seeing his career tank down to the ground. <sighs> I just don't know what to say about these athletes. That, you know, you're going to get old. Somebody's going to be better than you are, faster than you are. And it's because it's the way of life. One person can't continue to go on the speed that they're going on when they're younger. You start looking at things from a different color lens when you get in your 50s and on up. Because if you hadn't done what you had, if you hadn't done all the fun, crazy stuff, by you, by you reaching 50, you don't need to do it. You don't need to do it at all. But yeah, Usher, you can tell he's uncomfortable. And I don't know why he got that head scarf. I mean, 
what is he trying to say with that? All my conspiracy theory people get it now. Size this up for me. Mm hmm. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> and I think um, Will Smith's son, I think his name is Jaden. Honey, he would come out in a skirt and um, with a pocketbook that looked like a house. <laughs> I know y'all don't saw that float around the internet. That is wild. When I saw that, I was like, that boy gone. He is gone, gone, gone. And his sister, she seemed to be, you know, in tune with her band. And she's trying to do music, even though she's not a rocker. Yeah, they try to throw up their hand signal like a rapper. But that ain't, that ain't no rapper. Okay, that's a realistic ritual going on. And it could be uh, the mark of humiliation to tone you down for a while. But us just going to be showcasing at the Super Bowl this year. So, I don't know what 13 minutes of stuff he's going to show us or he's going to have other artists come out. That would be a cute thing. But at this one point in life, it's, it's not right. It's not right at all. That's nothing. That's no manly man to that at all. And he's not a bad piper. And he's not from Scotland. But yet, the elite... Huh? Uh-huh. And, um, what was I? Forgot that damn quick. Yeah, what I'm basically trying to say is, um, <sighs> it's reckoning time. Whether you see it this year in 2023, or whether you see it in 2024 or 2025, a lot of people that liked it, love, were fanatics about their, their local um, artists. You're going to start seeing some people in the church. they going to be following down. You're going to be like, they too did that horrible thing to those people? Yeah. Wolves in sheep clothing. Wolves in sheep clothing. So, we already got some on TDJs. We all waiting with baby breath to find out, was he doing something? Behind his wife's back. And even if he was, the relationship would be called a beard. Beard is uh, gay, but you're covering it up because the wife knows. That's what they call a beard. All right? Remember Star Jones and what was his name? Al? I forgot what his last name is. But he's on that uh, Fox Soul thing with Claudia Jordan and um, Funky Dineva. I can't think of his last name, though, but his first name is Al. He wears the glasses. Huh? Uh, my phone. <laughs> Who my son thought I was talking to? I guess myself. He don't know I'm recording. But, um, because I'd be so relaxed when I'm talking to you all. They'd be like, oh, uh, who are you talking to? <laughs> That's crazy on me. Crazy on me. But yeah, uh, ushers is, is bowing down to whatever the elites want because they want him to wear that dog on skirt with them penny loafers going on. Look like them shoes belong to women too. That's not a man wardrobe as far as, um, oh, um, what do you call it? Um, the boy just looked like a damn fool. I'm just going to tell you that. He just looked like a damn fool. Because the socks, you would think girls would wear those. The shoes are, are girl material. The uh, jacket or whatever he's wearing, that is uh, women attire. And it's just crazy. It is. Woo-wee. <laughs> but um, it's not nothing new. Everything is done under the sun, repeating itself. Until we get it right, then we won't be such in a matrix type of living. Um, you know, following, 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 not necessarily leading, not necessarily asking the right questions. Um, that's pretty much where we at. But um, I don't know, Stefan, Marcin, what's called call it, Marshawn, Diggs. Better watch out, because why are you doing these crazy things? 
and looking all crazy. I mean, what do you tell your girlfriend? What do you tell your wife if you married? I didn't get anything into that. But um, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. You were making really good money. I mean, are you a gambler? Uh, do you just date women? A lot of women? You have to have that money to spend on them? I mean, what what's going on, you know? We want to know, I hear. Because how are you going to explain that to your two siblings, Trayvon and Darius? How, how are you going to explain them that it's okay to wear? And again, he's fit in an attire, attire where it's uh, linking him to more women, uh, give you a, a more women visualization, a visual. It's not giving manly. It's not getting manly here. It's giving women. It's getting female. It's giving, ooh, take it all off. But we kind of know those who are insightful, those who are conspiracy theory people. We know it's just something you got to go to to get to that next higher up step that you're wanting and not looking at the fine print and saying you got to tell your soul to be able to enjoy those things. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Turn on your notification bell button for this channel and my other channel, Dope Chanel's 48th Pearl. Okay? I'll be there <laughs> telling and laughing with y'all on something else or why the people do what they do when they do it. All right? But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.